as well. There he is. Steve? Yes. We're ready to rock. Yes, we're Pearl. ready to go. Sorry about Start that. The week. All, right. All right. Go Gator. All right, Steve, unless you have any announcements, I'll get us going. Go ahead. All right. Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome to our daily workout. Um, we've been doing a lot of fun stuff over the last couple of weeks, and uh, today is dedicated to strength. Uh, not to say we haven't been doing a lot of strength-based stuff in our workouts, but today is about moving a little bit slower and tempo and really seeing what your body is capable of doing to max out those muscles even without weight. So that's part of the benefit of the band is that even if you don't have a massive weight rack at your house, you can still max your muscles out to the point of fatigue. So let's give it a shot. So today, the name of the game is slow with the exception of those cardio bursts, and you'll know when those are coming. So let's hop on up to stand. We're going to start with a move that we're very familiar with. Um, first, let's just give the shoulders a roll, stretch them out. And I know some of us on the weekends are very active, doing lots of yard work like Chris, and others might be a little bit more stagnant. So wherever you're at, just getting the body used to moving again. If you do not already have your bands on, please pop those on now, starting your cycle. Good, and then go ahead and take your arms out to the sides, wrist below the shoulders, draw some circles, start to wake up the shoulders. Good, move around the opposite way. Good, starting to feel the cycles working. And we pull the arms in by the body, flip the palms to face up. I have my wrist in line with my shoulders, make fists, and we're gonna start with wrist curls. So we've got 40 seconds, starting to wake up the forearms. We're going in three, two, and one. Just keeping those arms nice and stable, lifting up. Imagine that you're holding a set of dumbbells here, whatever a difficult weight would be for you, lifting up and down. And as you do this, squeezing the elbows in towards the midline of the body. So we're starting with three of our moves that we're really familiar with. We have our wrist curls, our tricep extension, our bicep curls. But I want you to try and go nice and slow. Imagine you're really working with a lot of weight here. So up and down, feeling the cycle working. Good, maybe noticing the veins in your arms. We've got 10 more seconds, up and down. Good, keep pressing the elbows in towards the body for four, three, two, and one. Don't release it, hold. Flip your palms to face up. Next 40 seconds, you're holding that same imaginary pair of dumbbells. Lift in, 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 keep going. Mm -hmm. Good, and really focus on how close can you get your knuckles to your forearms here. So really curl them in, slow, all the way up and in. So really big movement. Yes, that's it. I've got Instagram going, I've got Zoom going. It's a good Monday for a tough workout. Different kind of tough than bouncing off the wall. Half done, good, squeeze, elbows in. Mm -hmm. Last 10. So nice to see everyone. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Quick check, palms up. Press the base of your palm. Notice if it turns from white and back to normal color. Our cap refill within three seconds. If not, your bands are probably on a little bit tight. And if you can fit more than one finger in between your, arms and your arm and your band, give them a tighten. And let's go ahead and continue on. The tricep extension, bend the knees, pitch forward, straight spine, Pull the elbows in, 40 seconds. We go out and in, out and in. You can also imagine you're holding a pound, a set of weights here as well and keep the fists closed as long as you're pressing all the way back, leading with the pinky fingers. So your choice, out and in or imaginary weights. If you have weights at home and you wanna use them, go for it uh, for the upper body. With the lower body, we're gonna do strictly body weight because we got some difficult stuff coming up. Good, out and in nice and slow. See where you have the opportunity to make it more difficult on yourself. So maybe if you extend the arm all the way out, you press the pinky finger up even more. We have five, four, three, 
two, and one. Go ahead and pull the fist in. Tuck the elbows in even more. Try not to rest if you can. We're going straight into our second set. Out and in. Pushing something away from you, a lot of weight. And I don't know about you guys, but I can make this really hard on myself. And right now, my cycle is on a medium because I wore my bands around my house for a little bit before I started the workout just to get used to them. And we talked about this on Friday. We're going with our, with our set. Um, if you notice yourself ever getting dizzy, try drinking a bit more water or maybe even popping your bands on prior to the workout to let your body acclimate. Half done. Woo! Extending all the way out. Nice straight spine. Good. Last 10. Mm -hmm. Good. We're going to pulse it in four, three, two, and one. Extend those arms all the way back. Imagining you're holding a really heavy set of dumbbells. Micro little lifts up and up. You can barely lift those weights up. You're squeezing so hard. We have eight, seven, six, five. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Nice job. Okay. Next up, bicep curl. Elbows come back into the body. Pick up those heavy, heavy dumbbells. Okay. At no point do we want our arm to let our arms fully straighten because that's letting our bicep completely release. We want to keep some contraction the whole time. If you're holding the heaviest set of dumbbells you have ever encountered, we pull it up and slowly release it down. Because you've got heavy weights, you wouldn't want to just drop them. 40 seconds, we're going. We pull it all the way up, lifting into the body. We come down slowly. Don't drop those guys on your toes. We come all the way up. Nice and slow, squeezing the muscles, the biceps the whole time. And I don't know why, but I want to make a face here as I do this because I'm pretending and that's what happens all the way up. Nice and slowly back down. Awesome. Nice straight spine. Notice if your shoulders are hunching up. Mm -hmm. Relax them down. Slow motion. Last 10. Squeeze those fists. Good. We have five, four, Three, two, and one. Relax the fingers. Keep those elbows tucked in by the side. Give the fingers a little wiggle. Now pick up those imaginary biceps. Add even more weight to your load. Second set. Here we go. And I don't know about you guys, but I can feel it working all the way up. Slowly, as slowly as you can, back down. Keep the biceps contracted. Contracted. Up. And slowly back down. Cool. Yes. And then after this, we have two more exercises, our heart rate boost, and then we're going to swap it out for leg bands. Keep those biceps working. I like it. Woo, maybe noticing the veins in your arms. Last 15 seconds. Add even more weight to your load. You are barely able to pick it up. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Set those weights down. Throw those weights down. Awesome. Let's come down to the floor. If your cycle is running, make sure to restart it in between our sets so that you don't have it stop while we're doing some of the really hard work today. All right, staggered push up. So I'm gonna take my left hand into three different positions and do three different push-ups working different parts of my back and arms. So my right arm comes underneath my shoulder, normal push-up form. And you can do these on your knees or you can do them in plank. So first up, my left hand comes in front of the body. I do a push-up, press up. I come down to the side, normal, push up, press up. Lastly, it comes back behind me, funky stabilizer move, and down and up. So it's three different push-up variations. Notice that my spine stays flat. My hips don't drop, okay? So I'd rather limited range of that drop than fully going down but losing your form, okay? So starting with the left hand slightly forward, right hand under the shoulder, we have 40 seconds. Let's do it, okay? So we go as slowly as we can down, all the way back up. Move the hand, second position. And then last position, okay? The slower you can go, the better, okay? This is the way we're doing it today. Awesome, good job, Instagram. 
Nice zoom. Who we got? Good. And that position when the left hand is kind of back behind the body is really funky, but that's what we want. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Last 10. Nice. See if you can go even slower. One more for four, three, two, and rest. All right, right into the second set. So this time my left hand is, pit, is directly under the shoulder. I take my right arm slightly forward. I take it side and I take it back. Second set, go. And the only thing I would suggest across the board for those who I can see is see if you can push yourself back up from onto the floor into your plank position even slower. So we're not only going slow on the way down, we're coming back up for three, two, one. We come down, three, two, one. We come up, same thing. Woo, half down. Good. Always okay to pause and plank if you need to. Take that rest, but try and stay up the whole time so the body's moving. We have six. Five, four, three, two, and rest. We're doing one more set, then we're moving on to our last exercise. These look great. These look really good, okay? Make your way back up into plank position. This time, left hand, pitch it forward. Time is rolling. We're going down, slowly up, out to the side, and back behind you. All right. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Good. Kelly looks good. Good, Ethan, nice and slow. These are great, guys. 15 more seconds. Ooh, really, I like it. <laughs> Last 10, see if you can do only one more push-up for five, four, three, two, and last set, right into the right hand, take it forward, time is going. By the time we're done with this, we're gonna have done like 40 push-ups, but that's okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you like to link breath here to help you go nice and slow, think slow, inhale on the way down, exhale as you push the floor away from you. So sometimes linking breath can kind of help us distract us from what we're doing. Yeah, that's it. Good. 15 more seconds. Keep moving. And after this, we're going to come up to sit for a rest. We have eight, seven, six, keep going. Five, four, three. Awesome, Liam. Two and one. Everybody come up. Give those wrists a shake. That was a lot of push-ups. Good job. All right. Last thing here. We're gonna come into forearm plank and reach back. So I'm coming all the way down into my forearms. Again, slowly. So we're not only working the shoulders, we're also working our oblique muscles to keep our hips stable. And in my forearm plank, as slowly as I can, I reach all the way back, drop that arm down, switch sides, drop that arm down. My body does not move, only my arms are doing the work, okay? 240 second set. I want them slow and slower. We're going in three, two, one. Let's go. Yes. And as you reach your arm back, you can even think about like a tricep extension. So really pressing the pinky finger up and back and then setting the arm down. Press, release. Yes, we're getting a little three in one. We're doing shoulders, we're doing obliques, and we're doing triceps. Woo, good. Nice one. Good, Kayleen. Gabe's got it. Last five, four, three, two. Drop the knees, quick rest. Second set, let's go. Right into it. If you need to pause and form plank, that's fine. Take that rest. Your shoulders are still doing the work, and that's fantastic. Mm hmm Yeah. <laughs> Woo. All right, we're more than half done. 
You guys have got it. And after this, we're going to come up for our three cardio moves, and then we're going to move on to our leg band. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody hop on up to stand. Three moves, 30 seconds each. The first one. So we're getting a little preview of the lower body work today. It's a day of many, many, many squat variations. Squats are my favorite lower body exercise. It's a good day. So the first part of our cardio boost is an in and out squat jump. I come into a squat position and this can be your squat or this can be your squat. Depending on your body, you're gonna go out, in, out, in. Now I don't wanna see a lot of bouncing around. Keep your butt low, the work is in the leg. Alternatively, you can step, 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 and step. Okay, so that's first 30. Second 30, overhead jacked. My arms are straight. I'm going out and out. Last 30 seconds, lateral high knees. I'm running side to side. Okay, so first 30, in and out squat jumps. We're going in three, two, one. Let's go. Get low. Out, in, out, in. Yeah, now keep your core really engaged so we're not bouncing in our upper body. The work is in our legs. Yes. Now these ones, if you want to go fast, you can go fast. The only time we're going fast today. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Overhead jack. Pick it up. Let's go. Woo. Making sure I don't lose my device. <laughs> yes, that's it. Fast as you can. Out and in with the legs. Last 10. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Lateral high knees. Walk over to one side of your mat, your workspace. Ready, set, and go. Get those knees up. Side to side. If you want to make them zombie lateral high knees, get your arms up as well. Woo -wee. Go, 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 go. It's Monday. Last 10. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Pop off your armbands. We have our question of the day, per usual. So the question of the day, and this is fun because we have people of all variety of ages on the workout, is if you could be any age, what age would you be and why? No judgment, just curiosity. Feel free to go ahead and unmute and give me a shout, or you can throw it in the chat. And we'll switch on out to our leg bands. And those on Instagram, feel free to just give us a shout via the chat as well. Steve says he would be 100. Why is that, Steve? <laughs> you got to give your why. <laughs> Gabe, five, because there's nap time in school and no homework. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Okay, that was a very well thought out answer. There was like a lot of logic behind that. <laughs> and I'm actually committing, not what I would call a katsu sin, but a katsu probably no-no in putting my bands on sitting on, sitting down. So if you're doing that, everyone hop on up. Let's put our bands on standing up together and then let's come down to sit to tighten them up. Go ahead and get those bands on nice and tight, standing. And then I'll hop down to sit, tighten them up and check everyone's answers. And I want at least five answers in that chat or at least want to hear them before we're going to move on to lower body. What age would you be and why? All right, once you've got your leg bands on standing, we do this because the legs are slightly contracted. Those muscles are working when we're standing. So then when we come down to sit, we can tighten them up even more. All right, Steve. Nice. Quentin, any age in elementary school because there's no homework. 45 because I would have grown up in the 80s. Hmm, okay. Jeff would be 180 
because we know 120 is doable, so you can, why not? Go for it. Keep wearing your bands. This is so funny. <laughs> Such a vast range. With the exception of 45, we've got like 102. <laughs> Anyone else? Zero? Zero? Why? <laughs> Ethan, explain. <laughs> Can't just throw zero out there and not say why. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're really learning a lot about each other. What about me? Um, that's really hard. Actually, it's not hard. I think I would be uh, the exact age that I am now um, because I've never been happier and I love what I do. As cheesy as that is, I'm having a lot of fun being 30. So I keep being 30. But ask me again in 10 years, I might say 40. Who knows? One, so I can meet all my friends and swimmers again. Oh, Chris, how sweet. <laughs> all right. Let's hop on up to stand. Those are great answers, guys. I still want to know why Ethan wants to be zero, but that's, I guess, a mystery. <laughs> all right. Bands are on. Cycles are going. Hands to hips, draw some circles, wake everything up. Kayleen, you've been awfully quiet. You might get called out next session, just saying. Me and my two sisters are doing it, so we have lots of different answers. Oh, welcome siblings of Kayleen as well. <laughs> Feel free to give us a shout while we're drawing hip circles. <laughs> we have five. 17 and 18. 5, 17, and 18. Okay, okay. All right. On the younger scale of things. All right. So, to wake up our calves, we're going to do prisoner pogo jump. So, prisoner typically means we have our hands behind our heads. Let's go ahead and pop those back there. And then for pogo jumps, I want you to imagine that you're on a pogo stick. So, we're getting light on those heels. We're coming up, up up and up. So we're going to do two 40 second sets. If a jump is not on the card today, just do some high heel lifts with the hands back. Otherwise, you're on your pogo stick, you're jumping it out. If you want to jump side to side and forwards to backwards, by all means, don't let me stop you. And also, hi, Keely and sisters, nice to meet you. All right, first set, 40 seconds in three, two, one. Let me see those hops. I'm going to pogo around my living room. <laughs> All right, good. And Colin, see if you can take your heels off the floor the whole time you're doing this. We want to really get into those towels, and that's how we do that. Woo, last 10. Good, we have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Give it a rest. Okay, because strength is the name of the game, we got our calves woken up. Let's take that into slow motion. So imagine you have, I don't know, a 50 pound weight on your head. For our second set, you're gonna press up as slowly as you can and come back down as slowly as you can. Try not to let your heels hit the floor. Press that weight all the way up. Slowly bring that weight down to the ground. Second set, we're going. Yeah. Good, core is engaged. See if you can do it without letting your heels hit the floor. Get as low as you possibly can and then press all the way back up. Low as you can, all the way back up. That's the stuff, we're half done. Yeah, good. Now making sure that we're pressing our elbows back. We're not rounding out our shoulders or upper back. Last 10, we're gonna pulse into it in five. Four, three, two, heels up, pulse it at the top. Lift and lift. We have 10. Good, press those elbows open. First six, five, higher. Four, three, two, hold it. Lower down for four, three, two, rest. All right, calves are warmed up. Step the feet nice and wide. Cossack squat day, we're moving side to side. Now, strength. 
We go lower, we go slower. I take my hands to my hips. I bend into my right knee. I go all the way down as low as I can. Press into your heel, come all the way up. I bend into my left leg all the way down. Press into my heel all the way up. Now, I don't know what all the way down looks for you, but that's the pace. Work into it, get lower, 40 seconds, let's move. Notice that my heel stays rooted into the floor. If your heel lifts, that just means you're working into your calf. We don't wanna do that, we wanna work into our hips. Get low, press all the way back up. Yes, if you want more challenge, make it a prisoner move. Hands behind the head, elbows are wide, just like our pogo jump. Awesome. Yes, keep going, half done. Good job, Instagram. All right. Good, Chris, nice, Gabe. Good, chest up, awesome, Liam. We have eight, seven, six, five, go Kelly, four, three, two, and come on up to stand. All right, we're gonna go right into our second set. Get low, go slow, let's do it. All the way down, all the way back up. We're moving. Slower, slower, slower. Mm -hmm. If you can get your butt to the floor, gold star. You can be whatever age you wanna be for the rest of your life. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Half done. Good. Awesome, Dan. Good. Everyone, keep shifting your weight back behind you. Hips come back. We have six. Good, Sophie and Sydney. Five, four, three, two, and one. Step the feet together. Wiggle it out. We only have two heart rate boosts today. This is the first one. So let's make it good. In and out squat jumps, 30 seconds. Here we go. We're gonna take a water break after this. So come on, pick it up. Give me everything you've got. Woo! I find the faster I jump, the easier it is to keep my body stable. So play with it. Get lower. That's 10. Then we're coming right into overhead jack in five, four, three, Two and one, overhead jack, let's go. Light on the toes. Maybe you can even keep your heels off the floor the whole time. Straight on, up, up. We're moving. Yes, now 10, pick it up. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lateral high knees over to one side. Let's go. Option to take zombie status. Woo, bands are working, hearts working, legs are working, heels are up. Half done. Last 10. If your arms are up, keep them straight, keep them strong. First six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody, big sip of water. Let's cheers it out together. Sweet. If your cycle is stopped, reboot it. If you're later in your cycle, reboot it. <laughs> All right. Sumo squat heel lift. We're doing one straight minute. I want your legs to be working so hard that they are shaking. That is how we grow strength. And the benefit of the band is our muscle fibers are able to work at 90 to 98% as opposed to 60%. So getting those muscle fibers really going, shaking, almost ripping to the point is how we grow stronger and that's what we want. So I come back into that wide leg position, my toes are angled out. I drop down into sumo squat. I lift, lower, rise part way up, drop down, lift, Lower, part way up. The reason I don't rise fully is because I want my muscles to stay contracted. So you can feel your thighs working against the band, and that's what we want, okay? We've got a full minute. We're going in three, two, one. I drop down. I lift up, lower, 
halfway, down, up, lower, halfway. Already starting to feel that shake, that burn. Notice if your knees are starting to pitch forward, press them open. Get lower. That's it. Find it straight. You have an imaginary wall behind you. Good. Keep it up. Keep it up. Half done. Drop into it. Get shaky. Go for that burn. Squeeze your glutes. Get it involved. Mm -hmm. Yes. Monday burn. Full squeeze. We're only doing one set of these. Keep it up. Keep it up. Try your best not to rise all the way up. Last 15 seconds. We're going to pulse at the bottom. We have 10. Good. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, full burn, drop into it, squeeze, hold, little pulses. Eight, seven, six, you've got it. Five, four, three, two, hold. Rise up for four, three, two, one. I saw half the people were like, I can't do it, I lose it. Good, you did it, you're done. Let's take a stretch. Bend into the right knee. Walk your hands down your left leg. Good, switch sides. Come back through center. Okay. Our second set of heart rate boost. In and out squat jumps in three, two, one. Oh, hold on. Let's go. <laughs> Don't want to give you unfair time. Ooh, feel those bands working. Get low. If you want to add a punch, go for it. The last heart rate boost. Let's make it a good one. Half done. Last 10. Fast, 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 fast. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Overhead jack. Go. <laughs> nice straight arms. You're swinging them. Imagine you're holding a weight in your hand. Up. Up, toss that thing above your head. Legs are working, everything is working. Last 10, pick it up. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step over to one side. Lateral high knees, option making zombies. Go. Side to side, fast on those feet. Notice if your arms are shaking, don't let them shake. Make this, press them forward. Woo, half done. After this, we're gonna take it to the water. Then we're doing our hardest move of the day. So we build up to it. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Step by step, grab that water. <laughs> okay. So we know we're done with our cardio boost. We have one more strength building exercise. We're gonna do some plank work just to get our heart rate up again. Then we have balanced core and we're calling it. So this is gonna be the hardest thing in my opinion that we're doing today. We've done a variation of it before, but we're doing strictly pistol squats. So what that looks like, and everybody has their own variation. Feel free to grab a wall, a chair. I extend my left leg forward. I keep it nice and straight. I bend into my right leg, get all the way down, and I rise back up. Do I expect you to go that low? Absolutely not. Your pistol squat might look like this. It might look like this. That's fine. Think about keeping your hips back. We don't wanna bend our back and dive forward. So let's set up together. Left heel comes forward, keep that leg straight. You've got 40 seconds in one leg, right into the other leg. We're going through this two sets, okay? Get that left leg off the floor. Practice balance here. If this is where you need to be the whole time, that's okay, okay? If you can, get that bend in the right leg, drop your butt down as low as you can, bring it all the way back up, okay? I like to extend my arms forward as I drop low to help counterbalance, and I rise. Time's rolling. Bottom to the floor. And we've been practicing these with our Cossack squats, going side to side, 
Our hips are warm. Our legs are warm. Everything is going. Yes. Patience, patience. Woo, I'm seeing them. Nice, Justin. Liam, amazing. Yeah, Jeff. Think about how you can activate your glutes to help you here. So squeezing those guys, squeezing your core to help take some of the weight off the leg. Last 10. See if you can do one more and only one more, but it's your best version of the day. We have six, five, four, three, two. Hop on up. Let's go right into the other leg. Come onto your right heel. Extend your right leg forward off the floor. Try and keep it straight the whole time. Drop into it. Come all the way up. We're going. And I'm telling you, in terms of the workout world, this is one of the most difficult things I can think of to do in terms of body weight. So keep that in mind. <laughs> huh? Half done. If you wobble, you wobble. Hop back up. Is it common for this front leg to be cramping like heck? This right leg? Absolutely. Your thigh is working just to keep that leg straight. Everything is working. Last 10. See if you can do one more. Make it good. We're going to take a quick pause. Then we have our second set in four, three, two, rest. Walk it out. Butt kicks. Release your quads. Good morning to release your hamstrings. Hinge and rise. All right, now let's do it again. Last one. Left leg comes forward. Pick that foot up off the floor. Bend into the right leg. Time is rolling. Let's do it. All the way down. All the way back up. <laughs> Good. And we know that this is our last strength building exercise for our legs today. So if we go to the point of burnout, that's what we want. Mm -hmm. Half done. Good. Good, Lily. Yes, I almost don't want to call you guys out because you're balancing so well. I don't want to distract you, but everyone's got it. Keep going. Last 10. Best one of yet. Mm -hmm. We have five, four, three, two, rest. Super frustrating. Yes. All right, other side. Last set. Right leg forward. Pick it up. Drop into it. Three, two, go. And this is just as much mobility as it is strength. That's why we work mobility so much in our practice. It's a whole combination thing. Yes. Good. Chest up. Spine straight. We don't want to round out. Half done. Nice. Good. See where you can activate your core to help you here. Squeeze your core, squeeze your butt. Last 10. We have five, four, three, two, and butt kicks. Release those quads. All right. Last exercise of the day to get our heart rate up intended to go fast. Plank jack. We're doing 30 seconds, 20 seconds, 10 seconds, okay? When we do them for the 30 seconds and the 20 seconds, I want you to count how many you can do in that time. So what counts as one is one, two, three. If jacking out is not working, step it out. I guess hopping out is a better term, okay? Make your way into plank. We're starting in four, three, Two, one, 30 seconds. Let me see how many you can do. Go. Doing our best to keep our shoulders stable. Push the floor away from you. Activate your core. This is intended to help open up our hips because we've done a lot of squats. All right. That's the step. Last 10 seconds. Good. We're going to drop the knees in four, three, Two, rest. How many did we do? Let me see numbers. Unmute yourself, throw it in the chat. Instagram, feel free to just give 35. me a shout. 35. Who was that? 
36, Justin. Yes, 45. 45? Who said 45? Amazing. Liam, wow. Did anyone get over 45? 34. Nice. These are this is all good. 57? Dave? Dave, I think we're gonna have to we're gonna have to watch you on those. That's amazing. All right. Good job, everyone. We should be nice and sweaty right now. We got 20 more seconds to go. Back into blank. We're going in three, two, one, 20 seconds. Go. Yes. Are we playing jacket or are we doing mountain climbers? I'm seeing people doing everything, but keep doing whatever you're doing. <laughs> Good. Last four, three, two, rest. Stop, stop, stop. I'm going to stop. <laughs> Liam, knock it off. <laughs> All right. What are our numbers? 30. 39. 39. What else do we have? Do we have 31 or 41? 38. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Good job, guys. Okay. Last 10 seconds. Then we're going to balance. Very fast balance work. All right. In three, two, one. 10 seconds go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, rest. And I know it's really hard to count when I'm yelling at you the whole time, but good job. How many we do? 19. 19. What's 14. Nine? 14, 19, 17. Cool. Good. That's really good considering you guys did 30 seconds and your number was about three times that much and you continued your pace the whole time. That's really good. Nice job, everyone. We're nice and tired now. Come on up to stand. Instagram, good job. Everybody, good job. Cycles are going. Okay, brief balance work, then we're gonna do some core and we'll stretch it out for the day. So hands on hips. Since we did a lot of squats, we did a lot of hip work. Let's continue to work our hips, but in a balance oriented way. So extend your right leg out to the right. Okay, now once you're here, I want you to try and lift that leg off the floor, but can be flexed or pointed and then drop it back down. So you're gonna extend it as high as you can and drop it back down. And you'll notice as I'm doing this, the top of my head does not move, okay? So imagine you have that 50 pound weight or whatever it was that we were doing pogo jumps with. It's on top of your head. Don't let your body move, only the right leg. And see if you can get that leg all the way up in line with your hip. Woo, yes. Good, four more lifts. Good, we have three. Last two. This time we're gonna lift and hold it. This is just as much strength as anything else we did for eight, seven, six, up, five, four, three, two, rest. Release your arms, roll out the shoulders before we do the other side. So we are squeezing our outer hips just as much as any of the other muscles. And we're using every muscle in the outer part of our leg to control the leg and build up strength to help keep it there. This is important stuff. Also, we're using our core to keep us balanced. Let's do the other side. Hands on the head or hands on the hips, your choice. Head is stable. I go out to the left and back down. We're doing eight. Mm-hmm. Yes, and this is just as much core work as anything else, especially the obliques, the size of your abs. We have four. Last three. <laughs> Two. On this next one, we lift and hold for a count of eight. Pick it up. We have eight, seven, six, five, ooh, four, three, 
two, and rest. All right. 90 seconds of core and we are done. First up, bicycles. Make your way down onto your floor space. We're going side to side. Then we have double leg lower, down and up. Then we have reverse crunch, up and down, okay? So, hands behind the head, first 30 seconds, bicycles. We're going in three, two, one. And for these ones, I'd like to actually see you try and go slow and twist over as far as you can. And as you're doing this, the opposite leg is pushing straight, like you're pushing a weight away from you. Push and push. That's it. Good. Five more seconds. Mm -hmm. We have four, three, two, both legs up. Lower down slowly, you're moving through molasses. Pick your legs all the way back up, nice and slowly. So down and up, hands rolling. And as you're doing this, every single vertebrae of your spine should be connected to the floor. I don't wanna see an arch in your back. So that means you're bending your back, you're not engaging your core. So keep drawing your belly button in, and then imagine you're zipping it up to your chin. Last 10. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Good. In five, we're going to kick those legs up for reverse crunch. We have four, three, two. Get your butt off the floor. Last exercise of the day. Bottoms up. Nice. Even if it's a half a centimeter. Good. Working the lower part of our core. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Last 10. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody pull your knees into the chest, rock side to side. Good, rock and roll up to sit. Extend both legs straight, hamstring stretch. Good, pedal out the legs, give the knees a wiggle. And then start to make your way up to sit. And let's come on up to stand. Grab opposite elbow. And then use the weight of your elbows to pull you into a forward fold. And once you come down, rock side to side. And then switch, grab opposite elbow on top, pull yourself even deeper into that stretch. And then release your elbows, let the hands hang, keeping both heels rooted into the floor. I want you to straighten alternating legs. I'm straightening each one and pedaling out the legs in a forward fold. And if your heels come off the floor, you're not getting the calf stretch, so try and keep them rooted down the whole time. You can grab onto your ankles, your shins, something to help find some stability. Good, let's take five more. Four, three, two, and one. Straighten out the legs as much as you can. Let everything hang, shake your head. Yes, good job. And then take a big old generous bend in your knees. Let your belly drop down to your thighs. It's as slow as the name of the game today. I want you to roll up one vertebrae at a time as slowly as you possibly can. And once you make your way up to stand, circle the shoulders around, shrug them out. And give the head a rock side to side, release your neck. And bring your hands together and give yourself a slow round of applause. Cause that's how we did it today. Very good job, everyone. We'll be back here tomorrow. We'll probably be doing something different than strength, but keep giving me your feedback and anything you'd like to see or hear. Um, and if anyone wants my email, I'll go ahead and put it in the chat so you can feel free to reach out to me. If you have any questions, I'll go ahead and turn it over to Steve. Great job. Uh, just if anybody didn't know, 
Um, I don't know if this group knows, but um, Katsu is scheduled to be uh, exhibited and demonstrated at the Tokyo Olympics. So if any of you are planning to be in Tokyo for the Olympics, either as an athlete, parent, coach, trainer, spectator, um, you'll plan to stop by the Katsu booth. That'll be right next to the Olympic Village. So exciting. Yes. So anyway, it's delayed a year, but you know, <laughs> it'll be around. So thank you all.